So I'm here with my Amazon Echo and we've done some upgrades to our light controller and we're now able to control every light in the house by simply telling Alexa launch Skylink. My pleasure. Device name? Office ceiling light. I have sent office ceiling light your request. Alexa, launch Skylink. My pleasure. Device name? Bedroom light. I have sent bedroom lights your request. Alexa, launch Skylink. My pleasure. Device name? Bathroom light. I have sent bathroom light your request. Alexa, launch Skylink. My pleasure. Device name? Lounge ceiling light. I have sent lounge ceiling lights your request. Launch Skylink. Deck lights. I have sent deck lights to request. Launch Skylink. My pleasure. Device name? Garage light. I have sent garage light to request. Launch Skylink. My pleasure. Device name? Office ceiling light. I have sent office ceiling light your request. Now what's cool is once we do version 2.0, we'll be able to combine things together. So I'll be able to send to her multiple commands, like turn all lights on the second floor off and she'll just turn every light on the second floor off. Same thing if I send multiple, say multiple lights, she'll be able to turn multiple lights off. Now the Echo has one other piece of equipment here and it's the Echo Remote. And the Echo Remote allows you to control her from another floor in the house. So you can have her sitting on any floor and then you put this on the next floor. So that way if you wanna do voice commands, you don't have to go all the way up to the, to the next floor. You simply just use your remote and you can talk to her from anywhere. You don't even have to leave this in the dock, you can keep it on yourself and that allows you to do voice commands. Pretty nifty. But, there's some code. Got lots of code. And that's what's driving this thing. She's connecting via Amazon Web Services to a server that's running in the TLR data center. The TLR data center is taking care of the communication between the home automation system as well as uh, back to Amazon Web Services and it's pretty nifty.